All right, guys. So if I want to learn, if I want to ask you what your name is, um, I would say uh, Ni Jiao Shimon means it. Remember, Ni is you. Jiao, I think it's name. Ni Jiao Shim, I think it's which. What name are you? Well, which it, they they kind of do their things a little bit disjointed. Um, but Ni Jiao Shim, it means it. This is what is your name, right? And then I would say Wa. Remember, Wa is I or me. Jiao, or, or Jiao, yeah. Jiao is, you know, um, like name, right? Wa Jiao Chris. Wa Jiao Chris. Now, let's ask for your surname. Like, if I want to ask you out of respect, what is your last name? Your, what is your honorable last name? Because they they uh, talk about honor, right? So what I would do in that situation, I would say, um, Neen, remember, Neen, because Neen is respect, right? When I, when I say Neen how, Neen is a show of respect for someone who's a little older than you, senior, or someone in a position of power over you. So I would say Neen, Gui, Xing, right? That means, you know, what honorable name are you, right? Um, and then I would say, uh, Wa Xing Robinson, or if I was, you know, I like say my last name, if I was Chinese, my last name was Wong, I would say Wa Xing Wong, Wa Xing Wong. Once again, asking someone for their surname is uh, Ning Wei Xing, right? Ning Wei Xing. That means what is your honorable surname? Um, and I would say Wa Xing, whatever your last name is. Robinson, Wong, whatever, right? Um, let's see here. What else am I doing? Like, okay, if I want to ask you for, okay, this one's way more difficult for me, right? <laughs> this one's way more uh, difficult for me. But if I want to ask you what your number is, ni de bien huo how much duo shao. And I just hard to break that one down, right? So let me do it again. Ni de dian hua. Dian hua is like one word. How much it dua shao? That means what is your number? What is your number? In the last video, we went over numbers. So we'll do numbers again, right? So number. So let's start from from um, from one. E, right, is one. E, right? One is E, two, R, and this is going by the accents, right? Because they have an accent over the letters. Think of an the accent over there. R, right? Now, let's do uh, three. Sun, sun, four, two, two, five, woo, woo, six. Leo, Leo, right? Seven is Chi. It's like a Q and an I. Chi, Chi. Eight, Ba, Ba. Like straight across. Ba. Nine, Chio, Chio. And then ten is Chi. Now, if you want to like add, like say numbers on to, um, like say if you're gonna do thirteen, right? So I would take, remember, ten is shit, right? So I'll do ten and three. So, or or let's just do a, let's do eleven, right? Let's just, just do eleven. <laughs> so eleven would be you take ten and one, right? So shit, and then e, so ten and one. So we're gonna do. Um, ten. Or right, let's do. Let's start with one again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all over it. E, E, two, R, three, Sun, four, two, five, Wu, uh, six, uh, Leo, seven, Chi, eight. Ba, nine, Chi, o, ten, Chi. 
it's all about comprehension, guys. Comprehending what you're saying, like what just memorization. If you start learning a different language, you actually have to start memorizing stuff, memorizing stuff, and this really helped my memory, um, learning because I have to like literally be like, oh, I gotta remember this stuff. Holy crap, you know. So, so that's that. So, so like, okay, so we're gonna start with so ten is she now, eleven is ten and one. Once again, she e. What is what is two? R. So if I want to do ten and two, which is twelve. I do shit R shit R ten and three shit sun right shit sun I want to do fourteen shit sit shit sit now if I want to do uh, ten and five which is fifteen shit woo shit woo um actually I think it's shi. I think it's shi. I, I think I might be doing that wrong. So shi and then the next one. Okay, now six uh sixteen. Shi Leo. Shi Leo. Leo is like has like a think of that. Shi Leo. And then if I want to do uh ten and seven, which is seventeen, I'd be shi chi. Shi chi. Now, if I want to do 18, shit, ba. 19, shit, geo. Now, if I, um, I think, now, when it gets towards the, uh, like, say, 21, I think that's two tens and one. So, I would do R, right? So, take the R, two tens, right? Two tens. So, I'll take two tens. So, so it'd be like, shit, or it'd be a R, shit, and then one would be E. Right, so that's, it kind of scrambles my brain sometimes. But if you kind of get that logic in there, right? So you do two tens. So remember, um, two is R, R. So it'd be R sh because that's two, that's ten. So R sh e R sh, and then you go like R. R shit R, which would be 22. Or R shit sun, 23, right? Um, <clears throat> if I want to do um, like 30, if I remember correctly, man, it's been a minute since I've kind of did my numbers correctly, but it'd be like three tens. So it'd be sun shit R, which would be uh, 32. So sun, which is three, remember, sun shit is 10, so three tens, and then say I want to do ba, ba, it'd be like 38. So that's some of the things I've learned. So if I want to ask, so if I'm asking you for your number, mi de bien hua hama shi duo xiao, which means what is your number? <laughs> or uh, how many are how many are your numbers? Something like that. So that's kind of how they do. And then you would say, wa shi bien hua Hama shit, which means my number is, and then you would say, woo woo, you know, ba ba. Like if if I'm doing like you know woo woo, like which is two fives, and then ba ba eight eight. Or depending upon what um, part of the country you're in. Now I think Ling, by the way, Ling is zero. Ling is zero. So if I want to start all over again, let's start with just do numbers one more time. So. Let's just let's add zero on there. Okay, zero is ling, ling, right? And then one is e, and then two is r, three sun, four su, five wu, six leo, leo, leo. Right? That's kind of a tough one for me. Seven is chi, q i, chi. Chi eight ba ba nine um nine is geo geo right and then ten is she right and then remember the eleven when you're gonna get to eleven you do ten and one so you do she and then so that's ten and then one would be e she e that's eleven 
Um, now, if I want to ask someone who they are, like, um, Hada, Hada, what a mama, that'd be like, she is my mother, right? <laughs> so that's just a kind of a thing I just tacked on there. Um, you know, um, but yeah, yeah. So I don't want to go like just off the, off the, the, the handle, but like, if you want to refer to your, like, um, Tada or, um, Tada, Ta is they, like, who, who are they, basically? Tada, what a mama? Is that who is, or is that your mother, I think? I don't remember. <laughs> we're, we're going on, we're going way off the, the map here, but Lao Pua is, you know, wife. Lao Gong is husband. Um, and then it just kind of goes on from there. You can list off different families. Nene is like mother on on your wife's side. Um, and, and there, there's just so much. There's so much out there. Baba is father. Mama is mother. And then uh, sister is me. Okay, we won't. We'll, we'll, we'll stop there. <laughs> we'll stop there. I'm scrambling my brain here a little bit. We're scrambling my brain here a little bit. But that's all I got for you guys today. Just kind of show you guys learning a language, man. It's not easy, but it can be done. So, peace.